So I'm Jo Lehu and I'm lead teacher for music. There are five areas of study. The first one is my music, where students study their own instrument and singing is an instrument. Um, and you look at lots of different techniques with your instrument and getting better as a performer and a composer and an improviser on your instrument. Then the second area of study is concerto through time, where the students study the music from the Baroque period back in the 1600s through to the Romantic era, era at the end of the 1900s. And you study lots of different um, kind of music theory concepts through that time and also lots of different musical forms and structures and composers and all the stuff that people think is real music. And then the next area of study is rhythms of the world, where you study lots of different cultures. So we look at Indian classical music, we look at uh, Middle Eastern music and African music and the music of Java and Bali and the Gamelan. So lots and lots of different musical cultures and all the things that make up those different musical cultures and where it comes from and how that then influences the music that you can relate to. Um, the next one is the conventions of pop where you study music from sort of 1950 to the present day and how all of that evolved and who all, the, who all the really cool artists are and all the different structures and forms and the many, many, many different genres. And the last one is film and game music where you study all the different devices and techniques uh, you need to be able to compose and create film and game music. I think that students enjoy lots of the different bits. You might find that you actually really enjoy Baroque music from the 1600s or you might find that you really love creating game music using Logic. So there's something in it for everyone. So the first thing is that you know, learn a lot more about yourself, about you as a performer, as a composer, as, um, a, as a person who is able to tackle challenges. Um, but you will get used to your instrument a lot, lot more, including singing, if that is your instrument, because you'll be using it almost every lesson. Um, and importantly, you get to work as a team quite a lot, and you'll be very good at evaluating and analysing things that you hear. But most importantly, you'll become a really, really good listener. So there are two parts of coursework that are worth 30% each, and then there's an exam that is 40%. So the two parts of the coursework are your integrated portfolio, which is a solo performance and a free composition. So you can compose a piece of music in any style that you like, and you can perform a piece of music on your instrument in any style that you like. And then there's the second portfolio, which is a piece of music composed to a brief by the exam board that they give you and that could be a short story or a picture or a short little melodic idea and then you have to compose a piece based on that and also an ensemble performance. So there are two performances and two compositions. So a solo, ensemble and then a free composition and a composition to a brief and all of that makes up 60% of the course and then the last 40% is a listening exam that is an hour and a half long and there are usually eight or nine questions and they are all about the four areas of study, the concerto through time, rhythms of the world, film and game music and conventions of pop. So studying music does open up lots and lots of different options. You could go to college and study an A-level music or a vocational level three course, um, and those options are performance or composition or production based, so you can take any pathway um, that you prefer. So if you like working on logic, then there's a production course for you. If you like the music theory and the music history, then A-level is more your thing. Um, or you can choose to maybe go into um, a more specialised college, like maybe the Academy of Music and Sound in Exeter or other, other colleges are available. And those colleges spe uh, specifically focus more on your performance or your um, pop business. So there are very specialised colleges that you could go to post-16 if like music is the thing you really want to do. Or you could maybe go into an apprenticeship and work um, as a, a sound engineer or as a, a radio presenter or those sorts of things. Um, and if you'd like help looking for those, then, then let us know. Uh, so beyond college, you could go to university to do a degree in music or popular music or music performance or music composition or musicology, which is the theory of music. Um, or you could go to do a more vocational university degree like your pop business or your music industry or um, you know, music production, those sorts of things. There are lots and lots of different options. Or you could do none of those and use all of the transferable skills that you will have got, like teamwork and really good listening to do whatever you like. So 
our department's really well resourced. We have our music tech suite of Mac computers, which have got Logic and GarageBand on them. Um, and they have the ability to record audio using the microphone. So if you wanted to record your singing or your instrument, we have the recording studio to make sure your performances sound really great. Uh, we also have all of the instruments in the classroom that you will have used before, like the keyboards and the guitars and the djembes and things. And um, also the ability to bring in your own instrument um, if it's more specialised. We also have all of the practice rooms and uh, the wonderful teachers, myself and Mr Hagen. The question we get asked most often is, does a student need to have a grade or a level in the instrument or singing that they want to do to be able to do this course? And the answer is no. You do get extra marks for doing a difficult piece for your performance, but that is only five marks out of about 40. So it's not the most important thing. Um, and if you want to learn an instrument, then this is the course for you because we can help you with that. Um, but we would advise that if you take the course, the instrumental or vocal lessons would help you and give you more of an advantage while studying this course. opens your eyes to things that you wouldn't have experienced before and also make sure you're aware of all the concepts and things you're going to need in order to make you the best musician moving forward and leaving Ufgum.